The Battle of Britain turned out to be the biggest air battle the world has ever seen, as it was fought almost exclusively in the air. From May to June of 1940, after capturing France in just 46 days, the eyes of the German war machine turned to England. Targeting British shipping convoys, ports and factories as their initial strategy, the Germans expected to have just as swift a victory and hoped for a ceasefire, if not outright surrender. They had a whole other thing coming. For fighters, the planes facing off were Germany's Messerschmitt BF-109s and 110s. And for bombers, they used the Dornier DO-17s, Henkel HE-111s, and Junkers JU-88s. They also used Stukas for dive bombing. On the English side, it was a mix of Supermarine, Spitfires, and Hawker Hurricanes, although contrary to popular belief, the latter did most of the heavy lifting. Though the numbers vary slightly depending on who's reporting, the general consensus for statistics of this battle are as follows. The Germans attacked having 2,550 available aircraft. The United Kingdom and participating allies, you can see them on the side here, had 1,964 serviceable aircraft for defense. Between July 10th and October 31st, 1940, when the battle took place, 2,585 German airmen lost their lives compared to 544 on the Allied side. This was mostly due to the fact that bombers have more than one person on the crew, and when they went down, they took more people with them. In addition, 925 Germans were captured. Another 735 were wounded, while only 420 Allied soldiers suffered injuries. As for equipment losses, the Germans lost 1,977 planes, and the Allies 1,744, which brought the total number of downed planes to 3,700. Now, think about this. Since the end of World War II in 1945, approximately 4,800 planes were shot down in over 50 subsequent wars and conflicts. That's only 1,000 more planes shot down in a span of over 75 years than in those three brutal months combined. Now, let that sink in for a minute. Despite the odds, the British held off at the onslaught of the Luftwaffe and served Germany with their first major defeat, and although the Luftwaffe continued bombing England, they set their sights on a new target. The Soviet Union. 